we're going to have a, a closing talk for this morning's session from Japanese Nobel laureate Hiroshi Amano, who received the 2014 Nobel Prize in Physics for his uh, discovery, invention of the uh, blue LED. And he's going to talk about the use of LED light for water purification. So continuing this theme of, uh, of inno innovative approaches to water and indeed talking about the very thing that uh, Kumiko Oguma was talking about. Hello. 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 Hi, Hiro. Nice to see you. You can hear me okay? Nice to see you. Great. Yeah, it's okay. Well, um, thank you. So we turn the stage over to you. So, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Hiroshi Amano. Uh, it's my great honor to join this, uh, this symposium on water matters. Uh, today, I'd like to present our uh, recent achievement of DPV LEDs, which can be used as the frontline tool to provide safe and secure water. Uh, the LED chip is like such a very small uh, one. And uh, how uh, deep ultraviolet light affect viruses. Uh, as shown in this uh, biograph, the inactivation effects have been already proven, like uh, cross-linking, dimerization, or modification of RNA or DNA. But the precise mechanism remains to be elucidated. As for the influence response of the COVID-19 like uh, viruses to DPV LEDs, uh, this graph shows the inactivation rate uh, as a function of dose of the LED light. Uh, the, the vertical axis is written in the logarithmic scale. As shown in this graph, uh, the shorter wavelengths, 222 nanometer wavelengths is more effective than the other longer wavelengths, uh, those. So uh, in the 200 to 300 nanometer right, the, by using the far UVC, uh, 220 nanometer right, we can safely inactivate airborne human coronaviruses or other viruses in, in the water. Uh, if we use the longer wavelengths, like a 260 to 280 nanometer right, uh, sunburn, skin cancer, or eye disease occur. But at present, uh, efficiency of 220 nanometer LED is very, very low. Uh, this is also logarithmic scale. So uh, at present, we have to use 265 and 280 nanometer LEDs. Okay. So uh, this uh, right uh, affect uh, the human DNA. So we have to cover the uh, LED lamp for water purification. And this is from Nikki Sol's catalogs. Uh, by using a 280 nanometer uh, DPV light, uh, you can, uh, we can uh, inactivate Legionella, Pseudomonas, Cori, Biblio, Bacillus, uh, and Bacteriophage. So oh, this, small chips uh, can be used for many, many uh, unexpected applications. For example, uh, we can use it as the river water purifier. In a conventional system, the demand is for the device that can ensure drinking water in a harsh environment uh, environment like a pool or like a river water. So there is a big demand for lightweight, compact, low power consumption, durable, and vibration resistant equipment. So uh, we can provide the small and compact 
uh, and durable and uh, safe and secure water by deep UV LED purification. And also, this can be used in the marine use. Uh, the conventionally, the use of plastic bottles for rehydration during yacht racing competitions has been banned due to concerns about microplastic waste in the ocean. So uh, we can provide uh, pure water using this very small uh, deep UV tools. And also, uh, this can be used in space. The challenge was to secure safe water in space. Existing mercury lamp equipment did not meet the standards for prevention and monitoring of microbial contamination. So uh, this uh, DPV LED system is very, very promising for uh, uh, space applications. And also uh, this is used for, for cooking the steam oven. In cooking recipes uh, longer than eight hours and 70 degrees, there are concerns about the growth of bacteria. Cooking at higher temperatures enables sterilization, but the taste deteriorates. So for lower uh, cooking, uh, this uh, system is very effective. And for, of course, for water servers, the bacteria in drinking water can grow in pipes and cause serious illness, requiring a low power solution that does not use chemicals. So uh, we don't use chemicals, uh, we use only the deep ultraviolet light. And also, uh, the next application is not a water application, but the, the airborne uh, purification. Uh, uh, with, with the collaboration of Professor Uchiyama and our team and the Graduate School of Medicine of Nagoya University, uh, we established, uh, developed an uh, air curtain system to protect healthcare workers from infections. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, our air curtain systems. Even with arm, uh, we can uh, cut the, uh, uh, the viruses uh, using the air curtain. Uh, this project is supported by the JST ASTEP uh, project. The efficiency of our inactivation system by air curtain is uh, evident. Uh, Without uh, LED lightings, uh, the, uh, the air uh, containing the viruses uh, go through these uh, uh, filters and then uh, it goes uh, out once again. And the uh, virus inactivation uh, without LED is 46%. This is caused by the water crash. Uh, but by using the LED lighting, the inactivation light is 99.43%, uh, which is huge. So uh, this uh, system can be uh, tested at the Nagoya University Hospital. Please look at this video. This is the video at the time of blood correction. Okay. So uh, we will provide safe and secure water and also the air. <laughs> So if you are interested in our activity, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you so much for your very kind attention. Thank you.